A special interest area is a project or activity that we can do as an individual, a patrol, or as a unit, based on goals we have set. It's about trying new things that excite and challenge us. There are six broad skill areas that we may choose to explore. These include... Adventure and sport. Environment. Art and literature. Growth and development. Creating a better world. STEM and innovation. Your chosen project will ideally be something that is personal and meaningful to you, but it will also need to challenge you at the appropriate level. If it's too easy, it's not going to be a challenge. I came up with my project idea because the parents of one of our cubs put up just a post in our group Facebook. My daughter has a couple of disabilities and that means that we're only just teaching her to ride a bike now that she's about 13. The cubs were having a bike day and he thought it would be really great if we could devise some kind of trailer or something that could be used by her. So I thought, I have a few ideas. I've seen a couple of things that work. I may have kind of an idea of how to do it. And there was another couple of people in the crew who went, if you gave me a little while to think about it, I might be able to come up with something. So we decided, let's get together, work out a vague plan and see where we can go and if we can get anything out of it. Because we basically thought the best idea of trying to get something together was to get old bikes and bike parts and that kind of thing. So we went to a couple of community forums and just said, hey, if there's anyone who has any bikes or bike parts that they'd be able to donate, kind of put the story out there and we got a bunch of donations in. It was really great just being able to get a girl who wouldn't have been able to participate and wouldn't have been able to be part of that and give her the opportunity to go out and be part of the bike day like with her pack. Yeah, one of my favorite moments was when her and her dad came over to test out the trailer after we made it up. He took her for a spin down the hill and they were probably 100 meters away, but you could hear her laughing like all the way from up the hill. And it was just really great to be able to give her that opportunity that she otherwise probably wouldn't have been able to have. Once we have come up with an idea of what the project goal is, think about some important questions. When I'm setting a goal, I research using books, online and asking people who would know about that particular subject. My special interest area that I'm most proud of was when I was in Cub Scouts, I did an animation on the history of scouting. It turned out just the way I wanted it to. Once you have set goals, your unit council will need to check them to make sure that the goals are appropriate and there is support for you. When I'm setting a goal, I get post notes and write down each step to achieving said goal, then lay them out in a linear map fashion to allow myself to understand what I need to do first. I get other people to help me achieve my goals when it would be too risky or I do not have the required skills to be able to achieve said goal. A project I'm planning to do is repairing a light in console, which is a STEM and innovation project for special interest areas. My expected outcome is to learn a few things. First up, to improve my technical skills and to improve my understanding of the DMX protocol. I think this project very much covers the intellectual spices area. One of the things I think I'll enjoy about this project is satisfying my natural curiosity for technological items. It's also great to know that there is always help and support around to help us achieve our special interest areas. You can speak to a mentor, a subject matter expert, or your patrol or unit. Your mentor should be someone you know, who is familiar in the special interest area that your project focuses on. Maybe they are a more knowledgeable scout. Maybe we will inspire other scouts to chase their own adventures doing projects like ours. Even better, you could be their mentor. If the project meets some of the UN's sustainable development goals, or is in the category of creating a better world, don't forget to submit it as a Messenger of Peace project on the WOSM website too. This project is meaningful to me because I can help out with charities such as Cancer Council and I'm also joining the sections of Scouting Together which will create more friendships and relationships and I'm also learning some useful skills. I'm hoping the outcome for this fundraiser will be raising funds for the Cancer Council and I share my leadership and everyone has a great time in this fundraiser. I know that I have finished this project when I see that everyone's had a good time and everyone's happy and when the Cancer Council has received their funds. I did have a few mentors, such as my scout leaders, who I could talk to them about my ideas and just make it a really great day. 
Well, I haven't entered it on the Messages of Peace website yet, but I think I will. No, but I really should go and submit this project to the Messages of Peace website. So start thinking today about how you could inspire and challenge yourself with a special interest area project.